Hello, my name is Martin Llewellyn. I'm Professor of Infectious Diseases at Brighton and Sussex Medical School and I'm a consultant in infection at Brighton and Sussex University Hospitals NHS Trust. And in both my clinical practice and my research, I'm interested in antimicrobial resistance and healthcare associated infection. I'm interested in diagnosis, prevention and treatment of these diseases. The term antimicrobial resistance is used to refer to the situation in which microorganisms, and these are usually bacteria, but sometimes things like viruses and parasites and fungi, become able to withstand the effects of the drugs, the antibiotics or antimicrobials that we commonly use to treat the infections they cause. And AMR has emerged over the last 70 years or so really because through evolution, as we've used these drugs, microorganisms have evolved to become resistant and resistant strains and species have emerged. And this has an enormous uh, medical impact because many of the treatments that we rely on in medical practice, so surgery, cancer chemotherapy, really become impossible without the availability of effective antimicrobial treatments. Within the New Scientist Live exhibition, we hoped to engage the public around the issue of AMR in a new way. And this was about informing them about all the good bacteria that form such an important part of our health, the so-called microbiome. These are the germs that live harmlessly in our guts, on our skin, in our noses, in health. And people often imagine when they take an antibiotic that this is like a, a magic bullet that targets the site of infection and just kills the germs there. But in reality, when you take an antibiotic, it's like putting a drop of ink in a glass of water. So it spreads throughout the body and emerges in small concentrations on the skin, in the nose, in the gut, and damages these very important uh, normal healthy bacterial species that, that live there. And this can have a huge effect because it makes patients at risk of acquiring antimicrobial resistant strains and species and also selecting for antimicrobial resistance at those sites. We really hope that by having informed the public about the importance of their healthy microbiome this makes it easier for people to imagine how important it is to take care of their personal uh, microbiome in much the same way that people have become aware of the importance of the global environment that we all live in. So one of the things I enjoyed most about New Scientist Live was the huge range of people we saw come to visit our stand. And I was amazed by uh, the, the interest and enthusiasm, particularly of the youngest people who came to the store. It gives me enormous hope, actually, uh, for the future in this important area. 